friends come and go in mountain biking. Some of them definitely have sort of good points to stick around. Some are definitely questionable though. That's absolutely true. Like wide bars. Oh, I absolutely love them. Or flannel shirts. Oh yeah, I love them too. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, what about 29ers? Oh man, 29er for life. All these are good, but are the next ones we're gonna come up with a little bit more divisive? Let's take mm -hmm. a look. Right, first up, mullets. Now, this is a relatively new trend. Seeing a lot of downhill racers doing it. Doddy, what do you think? Does it suck? Uh, well, the fact that you just said it's a relatively new trend absolutely sucks because it's not. <laughs> We've been doing this since 1984. Um, and I think anyone doing it for fashion reasons, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I suppose if they've not got a good use case, use case, because you've got someone like Laurie Greenland, like a, a shorter downhill rider, yeah. he needs that space over the rear wheel yeah. so he can get back over there. All uh, the rear wheel getting, travel to move around. Yeah, he's not yeah. getting punched in the backside by a big 29er wheel, but he's got that 29er rolling ability on the front. So it makes sense. It in does. That case. Do you know what? I, I actually, I'm completely between sucking and thinking they're amazing as well mm, because right. they look disgusting. I, you can't convince me otherwise on that. But it's definitely <laughs> performance to be had from. Them. Yeah, you know, no, so, you know, people riding bigger bikes are. A lot of people are saying they're struggling with the bigger wheels. Mm. I love the bigger wheels. I'll always have big wheels front and rear. Yeah. I do get it. You put a smaller wheel on the back, tipping the bike into a turn becomes yeah, a bit yeah. more fun. I'll tell you what does suck about it, Doddy. What's that? You can't take your front tire off and put it on the back because it's got better tread. Oh, that's you've one got of my like favourite money-saving tips. Yeah, you've got like two tire sizes. Oh. That does suck. What do you think out there? Let us know in the comments down below. Do mullets suck? I don't know, Doddy's put a pretty good case forward for both sides of the story there. Hmm. Let us know. Right, what's next? <laughs> Coil shocks. <laughs> <laughs> are oh, very cool looking. They make a bike look better, don't they, Doddy? These don't suck. 100% they do not suck, but if you put one on the wrong bike, it sucks and you suck because you've just ruined a really, really good angling bike. Oh, well, so what's the thing? You can't adjust them as well. They're not as yeah, adjustable. Well, they just, I think the biggest thing is they ride totally different. Yeah. It's not like an Airshock. Airshock, put air in a compressed space, it becomes mm. more progressive as you squash it. Yeah. A coil shock, if it's got a 500 pound spring, takes 500 pounds to start moving it and 500 pounds to get it all the way to the bottom. I see. So if your bike doesn't play well with that, you're yeah. gonna be using all the travel all the time. And I suppose if you wanna change like the spring rate, you've gotta buy a new spring and they are, they cost a lot of money, man. And they can be heavy as well, yeah, let's face it. Yeah. Whereas air's free, you can change the air. Infinitely as well, within, within the realm. These might suck. I never thought I'd think this. I think core shocks are amazing, but I think for most applications on mountain bikes, they kind of, they're not. I tell you what, I'm going with they suck, but I want one on my bike. I love core shocks. <laughs> they are cool. <laughs> right, let us know in the comments down below. Do coils have the mustard? Are they cool or not? Do they just suck? I think they're too expensive. They're definitely core shocks. <laughs> let us know down there what we got next. Uh, E-bikers. Not e-bikes. <laughs> Yeah, okay. so e plenty of reasons to like e-bikes. <laughs> e-bikes, right, e-bikes, especially in a sloppy old England in the winter, are going to get you up sticky climbs and then you're going to have all the fun of going down. E-bikes are great. They don't suck. No, they don't. I agree. We're in agreement. We're talking about e-bikers. Oh, uh, you know, e-bikers. Th that, that rider overtakes you, don't say hello, rides for a puddle or rides for a dog egg and flicks it up back at you. Then they beat you to the cafe and eat all the bacon sandwiches. Just like Chris. We're in total agreement, Doddy. Don't say you haven't done it, because I know you've done that. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> yeah. We're in total agreement. E-bikers suck. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below if you've got any reason why they don't, but I think you're going to struggle. Do I count as one? Because I've got an e-bike. I've got one too. Yeah, I, really, I really like them. I love them. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, this is a definite 50-50 for me, this one. White or light coloured kit? Uh, I know what we're talking mm. about. We're talking like a Jack Moyer who suddenly turns up no, at no, a no. Pro EWS That's and he's amazing. Got a full white kit. That is amazing because yeah. he's fast enough to run it and you're like, who's that gone? Ask oh, Jack Moyer. Okay, amazing. Don't suck. No, no, we're talking about like, all the cool kids around white t shirts. Oh, oh man. Come on. White t shirt enough. riding in the mud? Really? <laughs> So yeah, this is like, I think this is the Daddy Doddy coming out. Yeah, I think well, that's, I do all the washing in house. It's all that washing, it's terrible. Daz is pretty good, but like, it's not that good. I think it looks 
Can I say fly? Am I too old? I think I'm too old. <laughs> you can Shut say, up, Chris. You can say that if you want. I think it looks really radical <laughs> when people have got radical. white. I that's, think it that's looks quite bright. a naughty saying, to be it looks fair. It's bright, it looks happy. Um, if there's fluoro involved, it reminds me of the 80s. Hold, I hold on. really like it. Can we draw a line here a second? <laughs> it's totally acceptable and absolutely fine mm. in most weather. Yes. Probably just not ideal here where we are. It's probably a location thing. Yeah. It might suck yeah. in the UK. Does it suck where you are? Let us know. Are you out there wearing a white T-shirt? <laughs> I wonder. Right, next one. I love this one, Doddy. Uh, it's down country, otherwise known as, didn't know this, underbiking. Underbiking. <laughs> what what do you think? foolery is that? I can't wait to hear what you think of this, Doddy. Do you, does it suck? I think it does. I don't even know what you're talking about. I actually don't know what you're talking down about. Down country, you know, where it's like, it's not a cross-country bike, it's not a downhill bike. Do you know bike. what I ride? See, I ride up country, along tons. country, down country, over country. I ride all the country. <laughs> What the hell is the other thing? Underbiking. This is like, what is it? 120 travel front and rear. It's not, it's not like, it's not super fast, but it ain't super slow. I'm unsure about it. I think it, I think this might be the first trend in the trends that sucks. That sucks. Well, if you're gonna actually have a go at this, down country, oh. it's just cross country. It is, isn't it? It's just cross country. This and, sucks. And some people have put bigger travel forks and some tougher tires on their bikes. That doesn't suck. Yeah, that's like changing your travel on suspension doesn't change the sport. It's a, another form of mountain biking. Let's face it, all of them, even ones that suck, don't suck. We've done it. We've got to it's the first biking. agreement in full agreement oh. on damn what country. What was that? Come on. That's better. There we go. Put my shoulder I've out. just seen what's next on the list though, and that 100% does suck. Right, what is it? Crocs. Should we oh, move on now? Oh my God. No, we've got to talk about <laughs> Crocs because they are now a thing. I can't believe this. They are a thing in mountain biking. You can so, get Crocs with cleats on. That doesn't make any sense. One of the mechanics or technicians from TF Tuned, mm. he used to wear a pair of red Crocs when he used to work at John's Bikes yeah. in Bath. And I used to see him walking down the road with his tattooed legs and his mm. mechanic's apron and his big spanner and that and thought, Upset, yeah. actually, no, that's kind of cool because no one wore them. And then Rich started here with his Crocs. <laughs> and it's like, oh man, what are you doing? Rich Payne loves wearing Crocs. He goes out on his bike with them on. It's really mm. gross. Uh, this definitely sucks. I feel like this trend that tr sucks videos progressed through to the things that really do suck. And I think with Down Country and Crocs, we've hit the nail on the head, Doddy. Oh, Down Country doesn't suck. Oh, doesn't it? No. I thought you hated it. No, I said it's across country. I said it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Crocs, eh? That's fixed. <laughs> I'm confused. What do you think down below? Did we find anything in here that sucks? Because you might be out there thinking you absolutely love this thing. Maybe even a pair of Crocs. Who knows? Let us know in the comments down below if you think these suck or if there's any trends we missed that you didn't think we should be talking about in another sucky video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you love, like, and share on our social channels. And Doddy, one thing we've got to encourage everyone to do is to subscribe, isn't it? 100%. Hit yeah. the little button, we'll make more videos. And we'll Absolutely. love you for it. See you next time. See you later.